Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I thought we would do a video up here today. I'm actually getting this room done on the 30th, I believe, of this month. So pretty soon I will have just like a little closet system. With it being so narrow, I can't do but so much, but one side is going to be like hanging clothes and then one side is gonna be shoes, 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 including space for boots. The room over the garage is what this is, and we just extended our garage. That's why it's so long like this. And we knew when we built this house that we were gonna do this, and I was gonna use it for extra closet space and doing videos and whatever. So it is, you know, we have a separate unit, like a heating and air unit and everything up here. So it's nice and we do still have some storage. But anyway, so what I was saying is I went ahead and got them to do just some units down the side so that I could get these things off the floor. And I'm hoping that it'll look prettier and not as messy in the background. To me, it's not that messy because I love looking at clothes. I love like garment racks with beautiful clothes. Like on Pinterest, I'm always pinning different things like that, but I understand when I make videos, it could be distracting. So that's why we're up here. I just thought we would do something different. I like to mix it up. And today, boy, it's gonna be a mixed up haul. It is like all over the place. It is so cold outside. You know, I've been like spring, spring, spring. Now it is, let me give you the old lady weather report here. 45, 45 degrees outside. But tomorrow is supposed to be prettier. And I think what I'm gonna do, I only have a few things that I got from Zara this week. So I was thinking I might do those at the beach. So I'm hoping that's what I'm gonna do for this weekend. And then today I have, like I said, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna start off with the City Beauty, their newest product, which is the City Lips Night Oil. Oh my gosh, can you tell I like it? Look how much I have used. It nourishes, exfoliates, and plumps the look of lips overnight. Okay, you guys know that I have I've used City Lips for years now. The clear I go through probably more than I ever have gone through any lip gloss ever. And then the San Diego is my next favorite. If you have San Diego and you have Laura Mercier Joy and my lip liner Paradise, that is just like the ultimate lip combo. One of my friends told me about that, so you'll have to try that. But if you notice, my lips are never chapped, they're never peeling, they're never dry looking, and that is because I use the City Lips. Well, for the past two weeks, I've been using this at night. Before bed, apply a generous amount to clean dry lips as the last step in your evening skincare routine. So I do it right after, just like I would with the clear gloss, I do it right after I wash my face and brush my teeth. This is perfect for those of you that don't like the plumping, don't like the, what I'm talking about is like the, it's not like a stinging, but cooling. I don't know, I'm so used to it, I don't even feel it anymore. But it's not, you won't feel anything. It's just purely moisturizing and comforting. It's actually, here is the wand. It's actually not like really glossy. It's, it's a lip oil, but in this form, it has like this velvety, smoothness to it and it feels really good on your lips. I was concerned at first, ooh, it has a good smell. It just smells like going to bed now. I don't know, it's kind of like a comforting smell. I don't know if it scent. I don't know if they say it, but it's for youthful looking lips. You don't want your lips to be dried up. You don't want them to be have wrinkles any more than we already do. And when you keep up with your lip oils and your lip treatments, it really helps the lip lines around your mouth. So I have been loving this and they are running a sale. I will put the information and my code. I always have a City Beauty discount code and I have started putting that on every video, but this in particular is on sale this weekend. So I wanted to tell you about it. I cannot pronounce half of these words, but I'm going to try. It's no parabens, no mineral oil, no phthalates or sulfates, no capsaicin, cinnamon, menthol, or ginger cruelty-free. 
So there you go. There's not an irritant in there to make your lips plump. It's just purely nourishing them with like the hyaluronic acid. And just a, like I said, it feels very velvety. It's not an oily feeling at all. And it's not like a lot of the hyaluronic acid products are where they're just like putting water on your lips. It's just a really good formula. So I think it's worth trying. I think it's part of an anti-aging routine is to keep your lips in tip top shape for sure. So thank you to City Beauty for sending this to me and for sponsoring this little portion of the video. Okay, so now let's get on to some reviews. This sucker, you guys, this shark piece of equipment here is no joke. First, I started off using the brush, the different brushes. I think I told you that last week. I think I had used maybe the round and the flat brush. So I thought, well, I better try, you know, this that is comparable to the Dyson Airwrap. This works so good. I think it works better than the Dyson. But let me give this disclaimer. This sucker is hot. I mean, it gets so hot. They even say to pull the, you know, when you switch these out, they even say, you know, make sure you touch right here because this gets really hot. Now I used it, I'll put some pictures in here of when I used it. Matter of fact, like my last weekend's Zara video, I had used it and then I think I used it one other time, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a little scared of it because I don't have hair that's like bulletproof and fireproof like a lot of people do. Like if you use the Revlon brush, you can use this. So what I started doing was just putting it on medium and it does still work really well. But I think what was making it work so much better than the Dyson is that it gets so much hotter. And I will say the buttons down here are very inconvenient. They need to be somewhere up here where your thumb naturally is because when you're doing your hair, you have to keep reaching down here. Now, that's not worth $250 because I think this is about half the price of the air wrap. So you could put it on the lowest heat and I'm not getting rid of it. I mean, I'll still use it because wow, it gave me like bombshell hair, like really full. And if you want me to, let me know down below and I'll be willing to do a hair video with you. But what I do is I put the back piece on a Velcro roller and then maybe this one, but that's it. The rest of them, I just slide. That's how I know how hot it is. I just slide the hair, the curl off of this and I pin it because the Velcro rollers, you know, you have to like undo your hair again to put them in. And then when I was taking them out, it was just like tears popping out of my eyes because it was hurting so bad. So bottom line, this is good. The only thing negative I can say about it is it gets really hot and the buttons are a little inconvenient. But other than that, if you've been thinking about trying it, it is amazing. Today, I've got on my Chanel water <laughs> that my friend Kelly calls it. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. And what made me think about it even more, oh, got lip gloss on it, is that one of you asked, you went to the Chanel counter and you asked them for it and they didn't know what you were talking about and they didn't have it. I should have told you it's only available at Ulta, but I ordered mine. And oh my gosh, okay, I had a list. Here it is, a list of things to not forget to tell you. Let me put it up here. Ulta, remember I said I was gonna do a Ulta beauty video. Well, I thought about that and I thought, what is the point? You know, it's 21 days. So I would rather just tell you, you know, when the good stuff is coming up, when I talk to you. I just thought that might be silly. Okay, so what is coming up for Ulta beauty? Benefit blushes. Okay, this is this weekend, the Benefit blushes. I will try to post that video where I tried almost all of them. I think I did it at one time. I used every single blush and it ended up being so pretty. It's actually one of my favorite photographs that I have of myself because I had my hair up. When I was using all of those blushes, I like did a sharp contour and they're just beautiful. So I will post that video up here. And then let's see, the new face is going to be on their sale. Beauty Blender. Now, if you are like a Diamond member, I'm not sure if it's the one under too, but I know if you're a Diamond member, 
during these 21 days of beauty, it's free shipping and I am. So actually, you know, you could just order every day, but that's just hard to remember. It's a little inconvenient. So the beauty blender is half off. So that must be Saturday. Sunday, the Estee Lauder double wear and the Anastasia brow pencils. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you I love the Anastasia brow pencils and my favorite color is either taupe for the kind of brows I have now or medium brown if I wanna go a little bit darker. And just because many of you have asked me what shade I am in the Estee Lauder because you want to go ahead and try it, I've been telling you that either rattan or buff are my winter shades. But now that I have been self tanning, I am able to bump up to three in one ivory beige. And that's what I have on today. This is kind of like a go-to. Matter of fact, the next one up I think is shell beige and I mix those in the summertime. If you haven't tried Estee Lauder Double Wear, you have to. To me, this is just like the gold standard of foundations because you can mix it with other things. You can mix it with the Elf or the Charlotte Tilbury Glow stuff. You can just do so much with this and in the summer, it is amazing. It's really the best for me to wear in the summertime. So. If you want to try this and you know you're gonna get a little bit darker and you are my shade sister, then I would get three in one. Okay, I ran in Walmart yesterday and something told me to go back and look at the plant pot section because they have really gotten good. They have got these really cool Better Homes and Gardens. They just have everything so good. Like if you want any home stuff at Walmart, for a good deal, then click on Better Homes and Gardens. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to order something for our back patio because where I live, it's not like California and all these other places you see where people leave the door open and they're eating outside and all of this stuff. It's not that you can't do that here, but it's humid. It's very humid. And so all of your patio furniture, whether your patio is closed and screened in or not, gets moldy and funky. So I am not going to spend a lot of money on my patio furniture. I would rather get something good and then just replace it when I need to. So with that said, I went back and looked at the pots and look at this plant pot. It is so pretty. I love it. It's got my Monstera. It's just my entire vibe. The white, the crisp with the green plants. I just think it is gorgeous. I wish they had it in a bigger one too, but they just had this one at my Walmart. And then they had another really pretty one with the butterfly that I will probably end up getting. It's just at that moment, I didn't have a buggy <laughs> and I had some makeup in my hands, some that I'm getting ready to tell you about. And I just put everything in this pot and I went and checked out. But I just wanted to show you this because I think it's so pretty. The reason I ran in there is that one of you told me that there is a Revlon lipstick. I will put the name up here because I cannot remember it. That is very similar to the look of the MAC. Thanks, it's MAC. But you said it's a little bit peachier. And I was like, what? That's even better. I love peachy lipsticks. You said that it had the same finish. So I haven't tried it yet because I tried something different today, but that's why I went in there. I wanted to grab that and I was looking at all of the different makeup and I'm gonna do a tutorial or get ready with me soon because I want to show you that foundation that I have been loving, the L'Oreal and the Wet n Wild Essence. So I was looking at eye palettes because I always use the same eye palettes every time I do a look and I grabbed this this one and it's Revlon. They say it's new and improved and the color is Moonlit. I've got it on today and I didn't like it. <sighs> I mean, it looks like it's gonna be so good. It was patchy. I had to end up using my butter bronzer in the crease to kind of help it out and give it some warmth. It just isn't the right tones. It just isn't good. So sorry to be a downer, but if you see this, it's very tempting looking, but it's not that good. You know what? I don't even think it's gonna be good if you put one color all over the lid because it was patchy. I just didn't like it. And then this, I've never heard of this brand, the Sharon C. Uoma, but this is the lipstick Savage. This looks like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. It is like nothing. Matter of fact, my niece will probably get this. It's less than nothing. It doesn't even make your lips look worse. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Let's see what it's supposed to be. It says sheer 
and they mean it. So I guess I should have believed it. So that's all of the bad stuff that I got. Everything else that I bought, I bought a new brow pencil and a new eyeliner. I think that's it, but that was good. So I'll be showing that to you when I do that video, which I have to say, Walmart is so good about returns. Mine is. Okay, then I got a PR package from Physicians Formula. I love Physicians Formula. I was so happy that I got it earlier in the week so that I could try out these butter concealers. They are so good. They are so good. This is like, this inspired me to want to do a look for you guys. And if you have any like celebrity or any type of looks that I can do for that video, will you let me know? Because I feel like just a plain drugstore or Walmart get ready with me is not gonna be very popular. I feel like I need to do something different. So let me know if there's any looks that you'd like for me to do. But the two of these that work out best for me are Let's see here, medium to tan and light to medium. Today and yesterday, I think I wore light to medium. And look, they have a cool wand. First, I thought they were gonna be the spongy things that you squeeze out and all that stuff, and that's just not my favorite. But this is just on here for you to blend out, which I don't think a lot of people are probably gonna do unless you're like in the car or something. But look how pretty that color is. Like if I had to describe it in a word, it would be vanilla. I tried this one first because in theory, you would think I would be medium. Huh, medium to tan? Did I think that? Okay, this would be for your face. It's not thick at all, but yet it's got good coverage. You can see now it's even drying. God, you could use this for foundation. But then I do have some darker colors I've got one lighter, fair to light. Brooke has a, her best friend actually is really, really fair skinned. So usually I give her the things that are too fair, but they do have these darker ones in here, tan to deep, deep to rich and rich. But I was thinking I might try these as like bronzers, something like that. I was thinking maybe we could do where you do the bronzer and concealer first and then go over it with the, you know, foundation. Maybe we'll try that for that video. It's kind of like this natural, but Mary Phillips, she's the one that kind of brought it up and around again. So maybe we'll do that with these. Is it called underpinning, underpainting, something like that. Okay, then they sent me the Butter Glow Liquid Highlighter, and I got the bronze and the just plain glow. Okay, it says it can be worn alone or under makeup. It has illuminating minerals. I'm not even gonna say that, marururu butter. Anyway, well, I got lots of good stuff in it, moisturizing. So we will maybe try that too. And then this, oh, I bet this would be good on the decollete. It's Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Setter. Shake Me Long Lasting Setting spray but with glitter okay you guys maybe we will use this in that video just on my chest or something and then they added some of their new glosses and I will say I tried the peachy one matter of fact I think I left it downstairs and it was very matte but then I layered something over it and it was beautiful but their plumpers oh my gosh okay this is just a diamond gloss mineral wear lip gloss in the clear and these i don't think are plumpers mineral wear lip cream but i will say they are matte and then this is the butter glow pressed powder in natural glow and translucent glow i've tried natural glow before do not think this is a bronzer it's not it's just like a finishing powder that has just a little bit of a sheen let me know any of this stuff that you want me to try in that video that i'm going to do here in the next couple of days and we will try it i'm thinking the translucent might be good to try just to know it won't add any color so that was very nice a physician's formula to send that to me okay i needed some vitamin c i used to use a skin and i cannot remember what it's called now i'll put it up here but melissa 55 is the one who recommended it to me because she also uses the abaji new derm system and i was using it i ran out of it i needed to buy more and then she messaged me that they quit selling it i was like why didn't i just get it because it will last forever so yesterday i ran in my dermatologist's office and i literally asked her 
what her favorite vitamin C is to use with the Obagi New Derm because she sells it there and she's familiar with it. And she suggested this, the SkinCeuticals Florentine CF combination. It has 2% Florentine, 10% L-ascorbic acid, 5% Ferulic. And when I told her I hadn't been using it, she was like, yeah, yeah, you got to use it. Retin-A and vitamin C are the most effective, potent anti-agers for your skin. So I was like, oh gosh, I'll get it. So I picked this up and I will start using it tomorrow for sure. This is funny. And I don't know if you guys want to see stuff like this, but look at this watering can. I've got a little thing with watering cans. I like neat ones. When Brooke was a little kid, I had elephants, lions, we had butterflies. I loved that little section in Target that has like the little kid gardening tools and she had gloves, she had a visor, she had everything to work out in the yard with me. And that's, I've told you before, all the kids would come down to our house in the afternoons and we would all water my plants. It was so cute. They each had a, a different little watering can. I saw this one and look at it, it has that so that you can fill it all the way up, but it's not gonna spill out of the top. You're supposed to water really slowly so that the water you know, distributes nice around the plant. So I was just thinking it's kind of cool looking, kind of minimal, and looks like it'll be a good one. Okay, Daisy Jones. Have you guys watched Daisy Jones? We are all caught up. I kept hearing people talk about it and it was hard to convince John to do it until I told him that I think it's supposed to be like a takeoff on Fleetwood Mac, which you know, we love Fleetwood Mac. So we watched it. I think there's six episodes. And then I was on Free People ordering these shoes for my upcoming spring trend video. My friend Tracy, I was telling her about doing that video and she said, well, don't forget about ballet flats. And I was like, eh. I, keep, I want to like ballet flats, but I never can find any that I really like. So she suggested these. They're Jeffrey Campbell. Jeffrey Campbell boxes are always really cool. And they are like literal ballerina flats. But what makes them kind of cool looking is because they're so low cut in the front. And then they have these. They're ribbons, but they're it's not like a little ribbon for your hair or anything. It's a pretty good size ribbon. And I thought these might look cool with cropped jeans or cropped black pants or something. I'm just gonna give them a go. If they don't work out, I will let someone else enjoy them. But I just wanted to try them because they were so cool looking. So when I was on the website ordering these, I saw they had a Daisy Jones little section. The closest thing I'm gonna get to Daisy Jones will be a faux fur coat and the sunglasses. And I've got one more thing on I'm gonna show you, but that's more of Brooke's vibe. That whole, you know, I always call her my gypsy. She's dreamy, she's the messy hair, and she's just more of that vibe than I am. So uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna come out here looking like a, a old ass Daisy Jones or anything. I didn't get anything like that. The only thing I got is this little bralette, and I'll put a picture up here. It might be the one that I was telling you about when I was telling you in my how to dress younger and still look classy. I'll put that video up here. One of the things I was telling you is to make sure you get bras or bralettes that sometimes they look pretty if they show. That way, if a top is cut down too low or cut too wide, and you know, you can wear that bra underneath and it still looks pretty. And you've got kind of like that layered look. So that's why I got this and I love it. When I first took it out, I got medium. I always knew if it didn't work, I'd give it to Brooke. And I was thinking, eh. But when I turned it around and looked at the back, it's got a wide, elastic strap. So it really feels good and the straps are adjustable. So I've got that on today and I'll show you my outfit in a minute. And then I ordered two pair of the sunglasses because you know I do like the whole 60s sunglass vibe. Like I would be more like Bridget Bardot and this is more of like the Jane Birkin. And I do like a little bit of both of those. So I ordered these sunglasses. None of them were very expensive. These are called IC and the other ones haven't gotten here yet. The other ones, it's like an aviator style. These are pretty cool. They remind me very much of, is it the Vela sunglasses that I've ordered a few pair? I ordered them from their website, but they always advertise on Instagram. That's what they remind me of. They're just really vibey and cool. I'm gonna wear them today. They have the lighter lens like I like, so you can see through them. And when I took them out at first, I thought, oh, 
they're too small, but it does give it just a little bit of a different vibe. I really like it. So I thought you guys would like these too. Here again, it's a pair that you can put back in your hair. They're inexpensive, so you can lose them or you can throw them in your bag. I really like them. They're polarized too. Hmm, that, that's a really good deal. I think that's all I got from Free People. And let me make sure I have not forgotten anything. I don't think I have. If you didn't see my Gap try on haul, you must. When I got through with that, I felt like this is the best Gap haul I have ever done. And it's a lot. And I did not plan on keeping all of those pants, but the only ones I didn't like are those really soft, exercise -y looking pants. And they're so soft and nice. I know my mom is gonna love them. So I kept those, but I've got an outfit on today. Okay, most of you liked these men's pants the best with the flip-flops. So I put that on today again with the, I think it's called the Modern Tank. And then I just threw on my big oversized men's blazer. This one is an old one from Banana Republic, but my Walmart men's blazer, the George brand, I'll link it below. That one is fabulous too. I just wore my Javiana flip-flops. These are the slim so you could get the thicker ones or these are just, you know, like your all around basic flip flops. And then the belt I have on, I could not believe is still available and it's just the black on black. Okay, and then for accessories, for earrings, I have on my big, large knockout studs in Onyx. These and the just clear quartz ones, they are, I mean, must haves. They go with everything. They're big and they, you know, pack a punch but they're not heavy. And someone asked me, did I still have this? And I do, I've just never taken it out because who knows if I would get something back in. If I ever got something else, which this is real gold, if I ever got something else, I would make sure I got it where someone else could handle that. And then for my rings, I have on this one. It's a love ring. I got it a long, long time ago way before YouTube, John bought it for me. And then this is a cornflower sapphire in rose gold. My parents got this for me a few years ago. And then the necklace I have on, this is from my parents. And then this is that really cool chain from Jenny Bird that I showed you in my jewelry video. I'll put that up here. It's just a good one, just a layer. I think it's like just edgy enough, you know? Like if you're just wanting to dabble in a little edginess, that is perfect. And my aura ring, I don't think I've told you guys. I know I've worn it. John has one of these. He's had one for a long time and he loves it. He is somebody that every morning he's going to evaluate how he slept the night before. So he ended up getting me one. I think this was part of my Valentine's Day gift and I've enjoyed it. The only bad thing is I find myself sometimes taking it off and forgetting to put it back on, but I do like it and I even like the way it looks. My nail polish I had done at the nail salon yesterday and I'm getting ready to do a video. I'm already working on it. I have some of it done on my beauty routine. Like everything I get done as far as hair, nails, teeth, Botox, filler, any, any routine beauty maintenance. I'm gonna do a video on that and then I'm gonna do a separate video on any plastic surgery that I've had and my final thoughts and feelings about it because I am gonna tell you the truth. So that's coming up. Please stay with me. I got lots of good videos and I'm glad you were here today. Don't forget the Ulta specials. Don't forget the City Beauty Night Oil. I think that you will like it and I will see you this weekend. Bye-bye.